Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 21, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, and the extra long title. <laughs> and we've uh, we've had a lot of talking these last two episodes. That's part of why they went so long. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's been two 30-minute episodes of talking. Which I do enjoy. I enjoy the story. I love the interaction. I love Mr. Lazybones over there doing his little stretching to let me know that I've been doing too much of talking myself. Uh, let's check the console first just to see. Nope. I, I can only receive calls on it. I can't call out. There's nothing in the desk. Let's, uh, let's talk to the minions first. I try to be proactive about that so they don't... You know, you're not in the middle of sneaking through the sewers and all, uh, surrounded by enemies, and you get a little message going, Atten would like to talk to you about something. Uh, <laughs> I hate it when the game does that. They always they always bother you at the worst time. Yes. Right. Have you come with questions? Uh, yes, and I need some answers. I want you to teach me more about the Force. Never mind, I'll be going. Let's go with I want you to Very teach well. me more. What is it that drives you? A V8. No, uh, the bond we share. I want to build a lightsaber. Can you teach me any lightsaber forms? Uh, I would like to build a lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? Uh, because I feel naked without it. The lightsaber is a symbol of the Jedi. It helps others. Eh, let's go to defend you and my allies. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. For the male, it seems to have an inordinate importance. But did, we shall leave such male Did Jedi Master Freud insert a lightsaber reference? A lightsaber. Okay. Any weapon only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. And the strength Such score of the person does not wielding make it. A Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. Okay. Uh. But how do I make one? No, that, that's, hammering on that one seems counterproductive, so let's go with the second one. Uh, I want you to teach me Very more well. about the Force. What is it that drives you? Uh, this bond we share? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong, and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. All right. Uh, this seems to be a rehash of our discussion earlier on the Ebon Hawk, so let's go with, uh, I want you to teach me more. Very well. What is it that drives you? Uh, can you teach, uh, I wish to know more about the Force Forms. That's right, that is a new feature in Knights of the Old Republic 2. Very well. Of which did you wish instruction? Uh. Very well. What is it that drives you? What about the lightsaber forms, then? The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms, return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Okay. Um, I had Ask, other questions. And I will answer. All right, never mind. Okay, so we did get some light side points out of this. Uh, what about you, Miss Stratton? Pretty calm. It's almost streaming off of you. A lot calmer than you were on Paragus when I first met you. Uh, what do you mean? I'm fine. In fact, I haven't felt this good in a long time. Let's try that. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Oh, uh, <laughs> that old witch. Yikes. Seriously, guys. All right. I had some questions right. for you. What did you want to know? Uh, looks like my options are Pazak, Pazak, or Buzz Off. 
All right, so let's further let's. All right, we're gonna have to do this anyway. Can you teach me to play Pazak? All right, but I'm out of credits, so it's Republic Senate rules. <laughs> uh, Republic Senate rules. This means we fleece each other nicely. Time trading cards and trying to beat each other, but in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate. Oh. Except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. So it is Senate rules. Okay. <laughs> uh, can you go over the rules first, sure. just in case nobody saw the first Basically nights of the old Republic game, playthrough? I can give you the ground rules. All right, note the rules for Pazak will show up in your completed quest section of your journal screen whenever you need to access it. All right, before each Pazak match, you must select 10 cards from your deck. Four of the cards will be randomly drawn from your hand during the match. A basic Pazak deck has one of each card numbered plus one to plus six, and one of each minus one to minus four available to create a side deck. Just don't tell your main deck about your side deck. Oh wait, no, that's something different. You will find other side deck cards as you play Knights of the Old Republic 2, including specials like plus minus cards, reverse cards, and many others. Select 10 cards from your side deck now. All right. Oh, that's right. We did find some, uh, we did find some cards. All right. Uh, let's get us a plus four. Get us a plus five. Let's grab a plus minus three. I really do want some more plus minus cards because those are really useful. Let's take our minus four, our minus three, our minus two. We'll take a plus three, plus two. All right. And let's grab our minuses. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> that, uh... That would be almost our entire deck, except for the plus six. Well, okay then. Let's play. Are you sure you want to use the side deck? Yeah. All right. The object of the game is to have your face-up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding a total of 20. That's the part I couldn't remember was what the uh, total was. <sighs> All right. All right. If a player's total is greater than 20 at the end of a turn, a bust, the opponent wins the set. A player must win three sets to win the match. The first player draws a card from the main deck and plays it face up to begin their turn. This is done automatically. Okay. Um, end turn quits and stand holds until your next turn if i remember right so let's go ahead and stand if you stand you cannot draw any more cards and you cannot play any more cards from your hand until the next set of match oh no no no, no. i had that backwards then i think i want to end turn your opponent uses the same rules you do each turn they draw a card and then they have the option to play a hand card to end turn or to stand Mm. I'm at 10. The goal is closest to 20. Alright, let's see what the next one gets me. 17. Ooh. So I can do a plus 3. If player's total is exactly 20, they automatically stand. The opponent can continue to play until they stand or bust. You win the set. Ta-da! Oh, I forgot there was a plus 10 in the deck. Hm. A match continues until one player has won three sets. Times do not count. You are never given more hand cards in the match, so use the four cards you have very carefully. Oh, crikey. I drew a 10 right out the gate. Uh, let's hold... Oh, oh, you, you, mm. this is rigged. I feel like, do, do you have a card up your sleeve or something? Did they confiscate that too? If a player's total is, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. 18. Uh... Hmm. 
Okay, I can tie and it doesn't count for either of us. I can stand, in which case he wins, or I can take my luck that I draw a two and tie, or I'm going to draw something higher and he wins. Most of these options have him winning. My only real option is to possibly like throw a negative in there and hope the next card brings me closer to 20. Uh, I don't like that option, so let's just go ahead and end the turn and hope for the best. When you select end turn, you'll automatically draw another card at the start of your next turn. Remember, if your cards total more than 20 at the end of your turn, you will bust. You're going to give me a, uh, you're going to give me something more than a two, aren't you? Oh, are, are you you're trying to get me to play? I, I, end the turn. Are you... <sighs> They're trying to get me to play a negative card, aren't they? Because I don't want to stand. I want. I, I'm hoping for a two. And I, I want to hold these cards for because when, once you're done with the four cards, that's it. Those are your cards. Where do I do this? And hope for a five? Fine. See, you, you could have let me just... And turn. And turn. And turn. Stop making me play cards. Fine, I'll stand. Let him win. You just wanted me to lose, didn't you? A match contain <laughs> a match continues. One player's one three sets. Ties do not count. Yada yada. Okay. Um. Ooh. Do I stand at 18 or take my chance? No, let me stand at 18. And hope. Oh, hey, there we go. He went. Oh, no. That bum. Ah. This is why I don't play games of chance. Okay. Any. Thanks, Arcadius. I appreciate that. All right. Eight. That'd bring me up to 13. I don't want to throw my negative in there just yet. Seriously? A one? Alright. I'm okay holding on that. Alright. Highest card is a plus 10. So I can, I can sit this one out without having to play anything just yet. All right, if I do that and stand, that gets me a tie unless he tries for a one. And if I lose it, that's it. We're I'm done. All right, fine. Yep, okay. What crappy cards are you going to give me now? All right, back into the same spot with the ten. A one. See, now I run the risk of actually busting because that 10 is floating around and it could put me over. Although, as long as I don't go over 12, I got that negative two. So let's try that. 18. Oh, he's got 19. So even if I hold. Ah, uh, fine. Yeah, I... Yes, thank you for letting... I know I've been defeated because you wouldn't let me end the turn. Fine. All right. That's everybody. That's everything we can do here. Let's uh, head out of the apartment and see what we can see. All right, so we got some people over there. We got some more rooms. 
Television. The war is really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Medical supplies are in short supply and high demand. Hmm. What Circus about you? mercenaries are getting out of hand, and they're too much for the TSF to handle. We need Republic troops to restore order. I'll bet. All right. What's an apartment complex, Charlie? Oh, is that Charlie? Oh wait, no. This is this is the hallway. All right. I don't want to do the hallway just yet. Let's um. What's in here? That's locked. Okay. What's in here? Anything? Nothing? Those look like lootables. But they're not. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's start with... Oh, hello, good sir. These contract disputes are quite distressing. The planet will not go strong while we bicker with Zerka. It'll almost be like the plot to episode one. Oh, sorry. Uh, Citadel Station Information Terminal, main menu. Alright, resident module. Oh, hey, we can download the map without hacking a computer. How novel. Alright. Return to the main menu. Transit to another module. No, oh, because I haven't visited. Okay, fine. At least I got the map now. Alright. I'm not ready to go to the shuttle bay elevator yet. Um, let's make our way around this spot first. Really oh, alright, alright, alright. I already talked to you, Madam Inflated Prices. That's not a valid door. This is a valid door. Alright, what do we have here? Hello there! Uh, <laughs> and who... Are you? My name is Hara, an employee of Zerka Corporation. Hmm. Alright, what do you do here? I am a data processor. It's a thankless job, and the pay is poor, but I have no choice but to take it. I have desperate need of credits, and there's little else for me to do. That or gamble, but this is what got me in a predicament in the first place. Uh... Let me guess, you have a gambling debt you must pay off? You're half right in your guess. I did at one point have a gambling debt, but it was repaid, and there's no creditor that looms over me. Alright, then what's the problem? I used Ramana, the girl of my heart, as collateral. Wait, wait a second. You, you just wagered your girlfriend? Okay. Uh, I have a weakness for Pazak. You must understand, my hand was unbeatable. There was no way I could lose. Uh, but you did. Perhaps you cheated. You should never wager more than you can afford to lose. Alright, let's dig that one in. Ah, uh, wisdom was lost in the heat of the moment, however. My weakness, I will never play a game of chance again. This is why I'm working day and night, selling my own life to Zerka, that I might buy her back from Dotun. Dotun? But it would take months, maybe years, for me to amass those credits. Dotun could take her away from here. Uh, perhaps I could be assistance. What's the price for? Good luck, I won't save you from your stupidity. Uh, no, let's, uh, perhaps I could be of assistance. You would do this for a stranger. Like I said, the amount is not small. Doton Het demands 2,000 credits for her freedom. Uh, <laughs> what will you give me to intercede on your behalf? Mmm, dark side that sounds like. I think I can persuade him to see things our way. I'll see what I can do. 
Let me see what I can do. Truly, then I wish you good luck, for no amount of pleading, begging, or otherwise has worked for me. Okay, new journal entry. You wouldn't happen to have a box of stuff I could loot while I'm here, right? I'm feeling a little light on stuff. Uh. Okay. I, I've been joking about the loot. That feels like a trap. What's in here? Shh. You didn't see me do this. Alright. That's it for there. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're the random person. Yada yada. Prices have gone up. Yada yada. The war is really inflated prices yep. here in the outer rim. Medical supplies are insured. And it's deflated the dialogue. The mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the TSF oh. to handle. We need Republic um. troops to restore order. Do I want to break down the door? Let's give it a shot. Impossible. And I don't have my security tunneler, and I'm not going to bash it down, so we'll just move on. What the? I told your boss already. I'm getting your credits. I have a good contract with... Huh? You are not from the exchange. What do you want? What does the exchange want with you? Do you sell droid parts? Never mind. What does the exchange want with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Everything's fine here. Now, do you need a droid repaired? Because if not, I have much work to do. Do you sell droid parts? Ooh. Hello. I think I found my new favorite merchant. Um... Yeah. I'll have to look and see what, uh, I'll have to look and see what my minion has. Okay. Is there anything in here? Uh, oh, there's a workbench. Good to know. All right. So now we know where to get droid parts. There's the locked door. And this door is also irrevocably locked. Alright. Now we need to make our way down the hall and... Sorry, double checking my notes. I want to go into the Zerk offices first. I mean, I don't want to, but it is the recommended. Zerka Corporation. What's up? No? Nothing useful? Okay. Let's head to the offices and see what we shall see. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? What can you tell me about Zerka? Zerka Corporation has operations on many systems, providing everything from medical supplies to starship weapon systems. Hmm. Here on Telos, Zerka Corporation is involved in the restoration project. Involved in the Zerka restoration hopes project. Will serve as a model for future operations of this nature. Mm hmm. No, that wasn't why I came here. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? I'm here to see Janna. She has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Alrighty then. 
Oh, this isn't uh, a part of my map that I downloaded? Th this is not the... Is this the conference room you used to uh, impress everybody? Because I'm not feeling impressed. Alright, mercenaries, mercenaries... Hmm... Why I... Is there an employee? Mercenaries? I just want to fill out the map real quick. A utility droid. Alright. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Can't figure out why anyone would need mercenaries for a planet full of farmers. Ooh, that might actually be useful. I'm glad that Zerka put a capable woman in charge of the project. I've got every faith she'll do things right. Mm -hmm. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Can't okay. Out why anyone would need mercenaries for a planet full of farmers. Are we three for three on the mercenary line? I hear Asgol's yep. been paying mercenaries to go to Dantooine. Can't figure out why anyone would need mercenaries for a planet full of farmers. All right. Lorso isn't the most popular executive I've worked under, but I'll say one thing. She gets the job done. Does she make the trains run on time? Alright. Don't mind me. I'm just filling out the map. Only authorized Zerka personnel are allowed beyond this point. Only authorized Zerka personnel are allowed beyond this point. But what about the authorized Zerka personnel? Are they allowed beyond this point? Alright, I've got a funny feeling that this conversation is going to take a minute. So, let me uh, take a short break and we'll be back for the next episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.